Okay, bud. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Here we Mama, go. Mama, I did. I'm happy I felt oh. when I got my jacket. Yeah. yeah. Say good morning, beautiful day. Wow. A clear sky. Say happy Easter. Okay. Can you say good morning, everyone? Good morning, everyone. There were no right. Easter eggs on this This is what we have working with. The girls are back in their summer spot, huh? Yes. Okay, one sec. Oh, goodness. Oh, okay, here you go, girls. I'm giving cottage cheese. Yeah, they like their cottage cheese. Here you go, girlies. Yum. Winnie's coming. So here she comes, that Winnie girl. This, this. Yeah. What do you think, girls? What do you think? Okay. Come here, girls. Hi. So pretty. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Dixie. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you going to take a bath? Right there, huh? So pretty. <laughs> Little fluff butts. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tori if you're new here and today we are doing a complete weekend reset. We have recipes for you, we have cleaning and motivation, and I'm just going to do a reset on myself as well. So some skincare, hair care, and everything that comes in between. So I hope you are ready. This is supposed to serve as motivation for you in the background uh, while you're getting things done. So if you want to listen in on some music, and me chat. I would love that. It is quite warm out today and oh the lighting in here is a little strange too. I should probably open the curtains but if you are new here we would love it if you hit that subscribe button. Definitely give this video a big thumbs up and without further ado let's clean. Let's get into this. Let's do a walkthrough before we start this weekend reset. Kids room not too bad. Not too terrible. Let's see. Not too bad, really not. Uh, so we'll come back to this. This area over here, I would really like to get done today. So that will probably be in here. Kids are watching Hocus Pocus. Definitely need to do the bathrooms today. And then let's see the kitchen. Yeah, look at that. Happens in a week. I'm gonna show you a crock pot meal here really quick. Let that cook low and slow while we tackle this mess holy cow i have a craft in today's video wow we are just rocking it right yeah. uh-huh <laughs> yeah <laughs> over there looks good just because the chickens aren't there but yes holy buckets let's get going okay in the bottom of the crock pot i have just some chicken tenders and i'm doing lemon pepper seasoning with that and then on top of it, I'm just doing a mix of red bell pepper and onion. And normally I would do this on a sheet pan. I just don't want to heat up the house. It's quite a warm day here. And then we are going to do, we're going to do broccoli last, but on top of this, we're going to do potato. I wanted to do a sweet potato, but the potato that we picked up from the farm stand last night, was it just didn't it did not look good i had a hole in it and it was kind of affecting the whole potato so on top of this potato and then a little bit of broccoli okay the potatoes are rinsed and they are in there and then just gonna do some broccoli and i will probably also put some asparagus with this but where is my olive oil there we go uh but not until later on and i'll probably just go low for four to six hours but I'm just gonna let this go while I just clean up this house because as you saw, it was a mess. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in here, put the lid on it and let it go. This is super simple. Never play. 
nothing that can pull us under You wanna take the pain away But know that I was born as a fighter I'm gonna attempt to talk over the dishwasher here, but the kitchen is pretty much done. I just wanna wipe down the, no, I did that already. I wiped down the counters, uh, but I did wanna show you our Cayuga duck started laying. So very cool. It's like a black egg with some gray. It's really interesting. I'm very excited about this. I knew it would take until April, but uh, I just was being impatient. So very happy about that. That looks so, different obviously compared to the chicken eggs and the other white duck eggs but uh i dropped a bunch of like soot from a pan here so i'm just going to vacuum that out and while i'm there i'm going to vacuum underneath here i just uh, took some of the crumbs off the oven so we're doing good we're making good time
I'm messing up. I do the same, I'm a sinner. I do the same, I'm a sinner. I wanna live your life. I am feeling much better about this area, but as you can see, it definitely needed dusted and vacuumed. I organized the kids more uh, activity related items like art and things like that. And then they have their coloring books and their homeschooling books. I know it's a small collection, but they're only two and four, so we're getting there. I have some canning jars, hoping to go through those this season. I have my canner. Uh, I have some vinegar there and then just uh, like a to-go art if we're going outside or something like that. And then I keep my purse up there. So yes, feeling much better about this area. All I have really over here is just some, you know, canning items and some stockpile stuff. But then up here are the blankets that I want to finish before the baby gets here. So wish me luck with that. Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive This is what we have going on right now. I feel much better about the area because I can actually open the door. So I'm just gonna vacuum right here and then move things right next to each other. I think that will be the easiest thing. And then our boots we wear every single day. So they have to stay here. Um, I wear them multiple times a day, but yes, feeling much better. We can actually walk and move through here. Yay. All right, much better. I vacuumed here and we wear these jackets quite a bit in the spring. You never know with Colorado's weather. So I'm actually going to leave these, but I think it's looking, oh my goodness, I think it's looking much better than it did. I feel more space and I'm happy I can walk through here. So yay, that's another thing checked off the list. Kitchen is done, living room and the kids craft area is done. And now all I have to do is some laundry and the bathroom. But first I am gonna take a little bit of a rest because I'm exhausted now. <laughs> Faster car, lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine, and I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. I'm out so try not to hold me down feel alive
faster car I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else Okay, well, while I'm here, I did want to show you outside quick. So what we ended up doing, you saw this morning, was fencing in the chicks and ducks there. They have their bath happening. And then I got started on just cleaning out just this area, trying to get dirt in here. I got some compost mixed in here, and I just started sweeping this area because the chickens really destroy it. Oh, that's a pretty moth. Oh, I forgot. There's a moth migration in Colorado. If you don't know about it, look it up. It's pretty epic. Um, anyways, I emptied out all of the small bags. I tried to move these stumps. That was very tricky. <laughs> chickens like to chase the kids back and forth but yeah we're doing good I feel like uh you know we went to get some cedar fence posts and they just weren't available did they go oh um but yeah so over here I did the same got some compost in the box that is ready to go as well our potatoes are doing well all I need to do is put dirt in this box as well hey girls as well as this box here but i think we're just gonna do six garden boxes across so let me just show you the vision but we're gonna do one two three four five six and then we're gonna trellis up on this side and then we're gonna do cattle panels as an arch for right here so i can walk through it we can have pumpkins up there i mean there's a lot of veggies and fruits that can trellis and that will save us some room as well and then we're gonna keep this obviously and then I have just like random you know that fire ring back there can house vegetables as well as these I have another one in there that a company sent me last year that I just never ended up using and then my husband was nice enough to put this table here so I kind of have a station next to the water to move seeds to wash veggies and things like that so I know this doesn't look the best but it's functional and it works and that's really all we needed to do for it and then this area you know looks looks good because the chickens didn't really go back here and destroy it so I'd love to put just like Maybe a little picnic table underneath the tree here so we can have some lunch in the shade with the new baby. But yes, I think it is, it's coming along. It's certainly coming along. The next goal is to get a different umbrella. It's just too large and it's bent. So yeah, we're doing good. We're at a blank slate and this is where I wanted to be. So seeds in the ground next weekend or the weekend after. Alrighty, I'm just making up some dinner. So we're doing just a bed of rice. This is just plain white rice with salt and some grass-fed butter for the kids. And then we're just gonna do the chicken and veggies. I shredded it for them. And I took some of the veggies out for myself. And let's see here. Yeah. Oh, I love you too, buddy. So we, yeah, I'm talking to the video. He never knows who I'm talking to, right? <laughs> and then we're just going to top it with some cheddar and barbecue sauce. I think that will be a nice little compliment. We usually do, uh, you know, soy sauce with rice. So I think it will be tasty. And yeah, we're just gonna enjoy some dinner. We're gonna have some strawberries on the side. And then we're gonna get ready for bed and I'm gonna get right back into it. I'll show you the bowls when they're finished. I know the next morning when the sun goes up, it might be the 